we knew they existed in picture books and fairy tales. But when we finally dredged one up from the depths, we were more than a little surprised. She was nothing like we imagined. No long flowing hair or sun-kissed skin, no silvery voice or wide submissive eyes, no pert little breasts, modestly shielded from sight behind a seashell bra, no. She was nothing like we imagined. All iridescent scales crusted with barnacles, wild seaweed from tear and a voice like a hurricane. Gills and teeth and spines, more monster than maiden. She was fascinating, but she would never make the cover of a magazine. Still, we lapped up every trashy TV interview, documentary and podcast, every forward-thinking think piece and long-form feminist essay. And when one Saturday morning TV presenter broached the question of her appearance, we held our breath. She said, my body has carried me across oceans and through storms. My body can withstand the pressure of 5,000 fathoms of seawater and swim for six miles without rest. My body has borne me children and survived the sharks and sea monsters of this world. My body is my instrument. My body is my weapon. My body is exactly what I need it to be. It may not be perfect, but I am not afraid of it. Because my body is beautiful. Soon, models were walking the runways wearing artificial gills. And young people were saving to have scales surgically implanted under their skin. Green hair dye sold out in the shops and swimming pool salesmen struggled to meet the demand. People prayed for gills and teeth and spines. The mermaid, realising that humanity had almost entirely missed the point, <laughs> returned to the sea. Thank you.